Good morning, everyone. I am Holly Vega with Military Home Base. Um, and today we are actually live in our office here in Tampa Bay. And I am interviewing, going live with um, Jason, who is the owner mm -hmm. of Heating, Fire, and Ice, Heating and Cooling, Fire, and Ice. So if you've ever been to Tampa, it's hot, mm -hmm. extremely yeah. hot. And they say they it cools down. <laughs> Maybe December it cools down a little bit. It's still <laughs> hot. For me, it's 24-7. So having cool air means a lot to this military family and to a lot of you who are purchasing a home and have started just purchasing a home this year. Um, big questions always come with heating and air because if you're up north, you know, you want to stay warm. And if you're down here in this part of the south, you want to stay cool. I, some days I'm like, I think I should just wear my swimsuit, but that just won't be cool. My kids wouldn't like that all the time, I'm telling you. <laughs> but that's how hot it gets here in Tampa. Right. Good morning, Stacy. Thank yeah, you for good joining morning, us. Stacey. Okay, so Jason, you're going to basically tell us, like, even though I said your name, but exactly who you are, okay. what your company is, okay. and why you love Military Home Base and why we love you. Okay, so <laughs> awesome. Uh, my name is Jason Hagen. I am the uh, part owner. Uh, my wife is actually uh, a partnership with me. Um, her name is Jen. Uh, we both together uh, run and operate fire and ice heating and cooling. Um, we service the Lithia, Fishhawk, um, Riverview, Valrico, and Brandon, and parts of Tampa. Um, the farthest we'll go out is probably Clearwater. Um, we try to really stay within the Hillsborough County area, though. Um, you, you should go to Clearwater because Stacy, she's a. a Coast Guard spouse, and that's a big community for our military. Mm. Just FYI, we don't have to push it out mm. there. Even that's though they live near the beach, I get it. They're the lucky ones. They got stationed like right there on the beach. As long as I can bring my swimsuit. Yeah, um. <laughs> and then of course, because you got all the, the beautiful beaches right there. But yes, yeah, just because they they get it there, and we're all dying here inland in the heat. But just saying, you might want to think about that for the future. Because it's a big coastal community. Yep, good area to expand out mm -hmm. to. Um, but and, right now, this is what you're dealing with around yep. here. And uh, military home base, um, when I got on board with them, one, my dad was a Marine. Um, two, my nephew is active duty right now in the Marines. Um, he's getting ready to go special forces, which his mom isn't really too kosher about. Mm -hmm. um, but the way I saw it, I was like, well, do you want him with the highly trained guys or mm -hmm. just with the regular guys? <laughs> Would, they're all special, though. They yeah, are. They, they the are. Special Forces will agree that they're, they're, they're pretty They're, they're the elite, and I feel yeah, like yeah, he would awesome. be safer with those guys. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and so when he comes back, you know, uh, to see the change um, in his life um, and his family's life, um, and as he goes to and fro, he actually said he didn't like Hawaii. He's like, what? Yeah. I no, like, Hawaii is so is nice. Yeah, some of our viewers have been stationed in Hawaii. Oh, That's why? like the dream station, yeah, isn't it? I'm telling you. Like, like, I get yeah. paid Hello, to uh, by the beach. Yeah. It sounds pretty cool. I would be staying in Hawaii with my Mai Tai. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so when Iris asked me to get involved with this, I was like, absolutely. I'd love to. Um, I, I very much value the services that the military families give to us. They, they give up so much, I feel like. Okay, thank um, you. You know, as far as freedoms, time with their family, you know, when their husband or wife gets deployed, you know, they, they, they're they apart from each other for up to a year, aren't they? Mm -hmm. well, it, well, it depends. It depends on um, what mission that they're, they're doing. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, but yes. Sometimes uh, it could be a year. Sometimes it's less. It just depends. I, I know it's always like a year before mm -hmm. I see my nephew again right. <laughs> um, and he comes Your back. Your family goes on vacation. Yeah. So what Jason is, he's one of our vendors. Mm -hmm. So we've gotten a lot of questions about who do we partner with, and um, Iris is really good. She vetoes every single person. Um, we don't just have anyone. We want to make sure that they are, like we see, you can see Jason, he loves his family. So mm -hmm. um, if you're going to love your family, then our customers are part of that family. Absolutely. And so um, we want to make sure that ensure that they're getting the best of the best, and not getting ripped off or told something. So leading to that, one of the questions is, what is something that most people, like the most frequent questions someone asks about heating and air? Um, so when that 
how often should I do maintenance mm -hmm. is um, probably up there in the top one to two uh, questions. Um, and I recommend once a year, um, as long as you are capable of treating and taking care of your own drain line. It's the thing that really breaks down your unit. Um, when that gets clogged up, there's always a safety switch on that that will shut your unit down to protect your walls and seals. Did y'all know that? There's a safety? Yep. There's a safety switch? I did not know that. And um, that's really easy to check. It just twists right off, and you can look down in there and see the water. Um, uh, the other indicator is if you pull that out and your unit starts running, um, your drain line's clogged. And you can clear that with your hose um, or shop vac. Um, and treating that drain line is as easy as um, one part vinegar, um, 10 parts water, once a month. Just um, pour So it. not putting in any of those bad chemicals that you should not be sticking in. That's vinegar? Vinegar and water. And water. That's it. Yep. And that will clean it out. Yep. Um, if you do that once a month, it'll help keep that clear long enough to where um, when I come out to do the maintenance, I, tr I not only clear your drain pan, but I also clear your drain line. And I treat that drain line and drain pan so that it's good for six months. Okay. Um, and we use a, um, a biocide um, allergy tablet mm -hmm. um, because that's the thing that grows the most in drain lines because it's cold, dark, and damp. Mm -hmm. um, and if we can keep that from building up um, through a slow dissolving uh, tablet, then that's great for you. And you won't have to see me for um, at least six months. So is this part of the service that you provide with your company? I it's do. Not, I mean, I'm in a rental and no one comes by and puts algae tablets in my air conditioning unit. It's, However, yep. let me tell you what I do love about my little unit. It has, because uh, my son has severe allergies. so. Before, like when we lived in base housing on that, um, I would have to buy, because they only give you a couple of them, um, the filters. Mm -hmm. But in my uh, rental here, we have where you, you wash it down, mm -hmm. let it dry, and then you put it back in. It's, and that is that's amazing. I'm like, dream home. I don't know if y'all have it. I have a little folder on my, um, on my laptop, and I deposit things in it. These are the good things that I want. <laughs> so like when Jason's going to give us this air conditioner stuff, I'm going home and typing up. It's going into that so that when I have my dream hall, um, that's one of the things on the list. I'm like, that saves me money, right? Mm -hmm. It saves you money. Um, up to 15% on your electric bill if you just keep your filter clean. 15%. 15% on. of whatever clean your electric Clean your bill filters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, the other thing that I really try to drive home, a lot of these air filters, you get them, you pick them up from Home Depot or Walmart, mm -hmm. they save three months on them. Um, that is not true. Um, can they last up to three months? Yes, depending on the environment of your home. If you have dogs, cats, ferrets, lions, um, any of that stuff, that, it's Florida. We're pretty much allowed to have anything. Yeah. Um, like, lions. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, <laughs> and... Uh, if you have any of those things, you're going to end up with hair and dander and um, dead skin, stuff like that from just your home. And the more you clean, the dirtier your air filter gets. Mm -hmm. So if you're one of those people that is just, you know, white glove and everywhere, um, your air filter is going to get dirty within 30 days and you're going to need to change that. Otherwise, it's going to start costing you money and it can cause breakdowns when that gets plugged up completely. And so, so if I was a new client and I came to you, we're going to do, you know, a play and role play here. So I don't know anything. I'm coming to you my because I bought a house. Unfortunately, things happen mm -hmm. now that, you know, the air condition is not working the way it should or it's not working at all. Mm -hmm. And um, approximately how much does an air conditioning unit run? Um, so depending on the tonnage, um, they can range anywhere from 57, so 5,750 all the way up to 8,000. Okay. Um, and they go above that when you get started getting into um, the higher efficiency systems that uh, implement uh, like inverter technology, which is kind of like cruise control for air conditioning. Yeah. So um, it's the, yes. you know, it's a Mac Daddy car. It is. In. It's, it's the Porsche of our industry. Um, it's actually been out for more than 20 years, but hasn't become very popular until recently um, as we're kind of facing some of these energy crises mm -hmm. and uh, the government wants us to be more energy less. efficient. Yeah. Yep. Um, the air conditioning company said, okay, we're going to really start pushing this product now. Mitsubishi is a really big one. Um, until about the last five years, though, you weren't able to get it in just a, what we call a unitary system, which is the system that you have in everyday's houses with the so air. So it's a basic. Yeah, air handler and an outdoor unit. Um, within the last five years, they've um, brought that out, which okay. is awesome. 
Um, I actually am factory trained by Mitsubishi um, and an inverter technology specialist. Oh, he is talking about a car, but it's not a car, it's an air conditioner. It is. It so is. if you just join us, we're not, we're not selling cars up in here today. <laughs> so if anybody um, has ever served on a sub, um, the same technology that goes into your super quiet mode in your sub, um, that's the same technology that we've put into these motors. Um, thank you, Japan, for releasing that. Um, <laughs> Because they, uh, Mitsubishi, who's based out of Japan, they were the first ones to put out inverter technology. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, very, very cool. And I was stoked to learn that we took this technology from submarines. Yeah. I that's was like, really wow, cool. really? <laughs> that's really, really cool. Um, and so that's the first question that most people ask me. The second question uh, most people ask me is um, can you discount that yeah. at all? Um, to which I generally answer, um, are you active military or retired military? Mm -hmm. um, or are you the spouse or family member of a military personnel? Yeah, um, so you hear that. It's not just about, so if my mother wanted an air condition, he, he's yep. going to talk. She, talk gets, to Jason. she gets a discount. She gets a discount, too. Absolutely. And that's why we like Jason's company, because he's not just thinking about um, – the service member is thinking mm -hmm. outside of all the family well, because the family makes a sacrifice as well right especially mothers i mean come yeah. on <laughs> our mothers who are watching is gonna love that idea that you love them that much you want to go discount but you're saying that the discount is not always but better in the slow season so i kind of like it's like a vacation right like if people go on vacation if you're going to go to hawaii you don't go during the summer because everybody wants to go to hawaii during the summer or come here to florida go yes. during the off-peak season. So it's the same method. So, so we have about a three three to four month period um, that starts somewhere around September, uh, October-ish, um, and it goes all the way through January, February. Mm -hmm. um, and during those times, we're a little less busy, which means we might be willing to discount our services a little more um, to just generate that revenue, that constant revenue, and keep our guys busy um, because we want the – our employees to get 40 hours a week every week right um, and sometimes that's difficult to do I mean air conditioners don't just break all the time right um, and quite often during those um, cooler temperatures even though an AC might have a problem it might not show up until you start breaking that 95 degree temperature outside and so during those months it just doesn't do it and so you think your AC is fine and then all of a sudden and then all of a sudden heat, like here in Tampa it goes up and it goes down it goes yep. up and goes down yeah. and you realize while you're sweating <laughs> exactly, and so you have to call me out, um, and uh, our service call is $95, but I don't just check and find that, that one problem. Mm -hmm. I'm going to look over the whole system and give you the whole picture of what everything is doing. Um, this motor is starting to get weak. It's pulling high amps, or this capacitor is starting to get weak. Um, your drain line is about to be plugged up. So that way, you have to see me once, not... 10 times. Okay. Um, that know. makes sense. Yeah. So again, if you don't have to just buy the unit or anything, if this is, you just have an issue or problem or you think there's an issue or problem, call Jason's company mm -hmm. and they're going to come out. It's going to be $95 for that service, but you're not just, he's not looking at just the one problem. He's going to look over everything in detail and tell you everything. If it's good, you're good. And then this is the only problem you have. That's it. If he sees other things, he's going to share that with you, and then y'all can negotiate and see where discounts or non-discounts or what can. Because we just talked about this, so what is your most difficult case so far? Um, so the most difficult thing to tell someone is, hey, um, I realize that you know this repair here over replacement, um, you know, this is the only thing that you can afford right now. Mm -hmm. um, Unfortunately, that part has to be built at the factory, and that means you're going to be without air conditioning for seven days. Some of the looks I get from customers when I tell them that, um, obviously they're not happy. You know, it's really hot in their house, um, and they want it fixed right now. Yes. Um, I had a customer recently who had a leak in their outdoor condenser coil. Um, nowhere in the country do they have that part. Um, the factory. Yeah, this is a, no one in the country has this part. Um, the factory was actually willing to to custom build this part for this customer so that they could avoid replacing this um, equipment. Um, I generally urge people not to do that when the system is that old. 
um, that the factory no longer has a single part sitting on a shelf somewhere, you should really consider, consider. replacing it. Um, just from an energy efficiency uh, standpoint and um, the fact that it had a leak, um, refrigerant contains oil, and I don't know if you've ever ran your car without oil in it. It doesn't run very long. Right. Um, so so other can, issues are gonna. Yeah. Other issues are gonna cost you actually more money than just going ahead and maybe. Yep. It's a, so that for that person, then you look at them and you're giving them a choice. They have to choose. Mm -hmm. But if say they're worried because I don't have just five thousand dollars in an account, a lot of military. They just don't have that. Mm -hmm. That's not something. It, I say PCSA. Everything's they move us and they, you know, take us wherever and they pay for everything and our houses are free. I, I, all these myths that people have about, or you know, misconception they have about us about military. That is not true. And sometimes that five thousand dollars, just like with our Coast Guard community back in September, no, but September back in January, February timeframe when the shutdown happened, um, you know, they're using. The, the, those funds that you have in those accounts. So now all of a sudden, this issue comes up and here's May, and you've, you're trying to replenish that account that you have used back in January, February, and the government mm -hmm. shutdown happened, and you need a new unit, and you don't got $5,000, maybe you only have two. Yep, so I work with uh, two different financing companies. Um, one is for those, um, how do I say this gingerly, um, someone who doesn't have perfect credit. Right. Um, I've seen them uh, get financing options, multiple financing options for customers all the way down to like 540 mm -hmm. um, on their FICA score. Um, they've been able to get them some financing. Um, and I also work with Hearth Financial, um, who also is a, a group of lenders, about 13. Um, it's a soft pull on your credit, which I really like. Mm -hmm. um, because if you don't get any offers back, it doesn't hurt your credit any. Right. Um, and that's a, that's a worry. A lot of people like, they don't want pulling credit, pulling credit, pulling credit. So then you're left on that choice of how do I get this fixed? How do I pay for this? And that stress is something that mm -hmm. you, as an owner of a company, want to yep. leave as much as possible. And the other thing I liked about Hearth and Okinas is one, um, us as contractors, we pay the fee to them to be able to use their services. Um, so it doesn't cost you anything. There's no dealer fees it doesn't cost you or anything. financing charges mm -hmm. or setup fees. Um, you one click, fill out an application. It's generally about four questions long. It includes like income, uh, monthly bills, um, how long you've lived there, um, and roughly what your FICA score is. Um, if you can answer those within their parameters, you generally get back about three or four offers, and they range anywhere from $130 a month all the way up to $250, depending on what type of system you're wanting to get and how much you're wanting to finance. Mm -hmm. um, that's a lot more affordable than, hey, I need five or $7,000 $7, right, right now. So you don't have to be hot, especially here in Tampa. Mm -mm, no, no one wants you burning up and uh, being hot. And they generally release funds within 48 hours. So... Um, that's another plus to Hearth Financial. Um, I really like the fact that they get you your money really quick and that I'm notified directly when your funds are released so that I can go ahead and order your equipment and get things rolling. Right. And so if I wanted an air conditioning unit and everything, so today my air conditioning unit just went out. I'm devastated. I don't have the money in my account. I did the process. I got approved from that, from today to when, how long will it take you to... And so, everything. so once I'm notified that you're approved and that the funds are being released, um, I go ahead and order your equipment so that as soon as that money hits your account, mm -hmm. um, I'm on site getting installing your unit. Because I already know that I'm going to get paid because you've already been approved. Mm -hmm. um, we're just waiting on the money to basically go from this hand to that to hand. Um, so how long does it take to put the unit up and everything? Um, so it's generally anywhere from a seven to ten hour process. Um, so it's not days? It's not days, no. Um, I've seen people do them in four hours. I'm not sure how they're doing it correctly in that mm -hmm. amount of time, but because uh, I've been doing this for over 20 years now, mm -hmm. Um, I'm very good at what I do, and I have not found uh, a way around certain things. Um, but still, I mean, eight hours, mm -hmm. you're going to be cool, you have your air, yep. you're processed, you're not spending $5,000 at that moment. It's going to be over a period of time, Yep. and you're getting quality, and then you're going to come back and do... Um, so most of my installs include uh, one year of maintenance. 
-hmm. So uh, at one year, I'm going to come out um, and I'm going to look over that system. And if there's anything whatsoever, because what I want to do is um, the manufacturers that I work with, mm -hmm. they offer free labor. Okay. Um, they pay me directly for anything that's wrong with that system within the first year. Um, so it doesn't cost you anything. So if there's anything wrong mm -hmm. at the 11 month mark, I want to be at your house finding okay. that problem before it's going to cost you money. Got it. That's really good to know. So thank you very much for taking your time today to explain this because again, um, having those certain vendors that are military friendly, who are reliable. So if you're here in the Tampa area and you have any air conditioning questions, please feel free to send it to us. We will send it right over to Jason. Mm -hmm. um, we will be putting his links and you're already up on our website and everything mm -hmm. there. So yep. you can go find him on our website but we'll add your link um, to the Facebook post today. And, and I did just want to mention one other thing. Um, Habitat for Humanity is mm -hmm. doing a veteran build and they're getting ready to launch some uh, fundraising for that mm -hmm. um, through a fishing tournament. So if any of the local people here like fishing, um, this is definitely a fishing trip that your wife can get behind um, because you're helping the community. Um, I really like uh, helping Habitat for Humanity mm -hmm. and giving back to our community. Um, that's given me so much already um, and to have it benefit a veteran family who needs a home even better we're, we're all about that yep. we wanting to help you can find that on habitat for humanity's website um, it's we'll on, add it yeah yep, we'll get in there and we'll add all that so all you have to do is click and look and then yep. you can share it and share with mm -hmm. everybody absolutely so we want to make sure that we're definitely helping everybody in our military community here. So awesome. thank you. And remember that military home base brings you home one base at a time. And to have a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday. Look, it's not raining today. I know. Uh, it's been raining forever here. So glad that we have a beautiful day. Thank you for joining us. Bye.